Now we continue with more reporting on the impact of four day school weeks in Montana. There's a lot of different ways that local school districts support kids in the community beyond their academic work from after school programs to daily meals. Montana Free Press reporter Skylar Rispins just released a two part series with support from the Education Writers Association that looked at districts implementing the four day week across the state. She joins us now. Skylar, thank you for sharing your work with us. Earlier we talked about how this change impacted staffing and academic outcomes and you discovered some other impacts as well. Thank you, Augusta. You know, this is a conversation that's becoming more relevant across the state. At the end of, 20, of the 2022-2023 school year, there were over 200 schools, more than 25% of total schools in Montana, operating four days a week. That's an increase of 47 schools from the previous year. And this change is prompting some concerns from childcare advocates that say the condensed schedule could bring new challenges to families trying to find childcare. When it comes to access, 60% of Montana communities cannot meet, meet their needs for childcare, according to Zero to Five Montana, a Helena nonprofit organization focused on increasing access to early childhood care and education. And in Montana, public schools provide meals that many families rely on to feed their kids. Some districts already have programs that also send meals home with kids over the weekend or in the evenings because they only eat at school. How is this change affecting kids having enough food? There are concerns that many kids facing food insecurity will go hungry now from Friday to Sunday. Last school year, 43% of students in Montana were eligible for free and reduced meal service at school, according to the Montana Office of Public Instruction. Augusta, in my full report online, there's more insight in, into the ways school districts and local organizations are stepping up to meet this need. I also learned that districts, especially in rural areas, are trying to adjust to, in, to increasing expectations that they not only educate kids, but also take responsibility for their well-being in other ways. Skylar, thank you so much for your reporting. To read that full two-part series, go to montanafreepress.org, and we also have a link to that story on our website, ktbq.com. Skylar, thank you.